It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. Wong Bak. <laughs> I'm ready. What was that? <laughs> Ong Bak, dude. Did you just learn that? No. What does it mean? Ong Bak. You said it again like I should know what it means now. Ong Bak, one, two, three. Mm. <laughs> now I think you might have cursed me. No, I've I've not. I have not. Not yet. No. Not until you say it three times. No. Um, bah, um, bah, um, bah. No, you're just you're just saying. Well, we'll we'll get there. What am I saying? Say it one more time. Um, How dare you? What is you it? can't say you that. You say it. Um, bah, and it's fine. How dare you? I dare. You dare? I do dare. What does it mean? It's just a movie title, what dude. What does it mean? I don't know what it means. It's a it's a movie title. Then why? How dare me? Do you want me to tell you Why what it you is? Why are you me? Yes. Okay, Tony Ja, who is one of the people in this movie, one of the actors. He's the like quiet brown guy that uses the uh, the, the, the security PVC, guard sticks. The PVC pipes? Basically, with handles. Yeah, the PVC pipes with handles. Spray painted silver. Exactly. That's him. He is a world-renowned martial artist. They, everybody is. In Muay, specifically in Muay Thai. Cool. He does gymnastics, Muay Thai, and like sports for like eight hours a day. He's so fucking ripped. And he's best known for his roles in Ong Bak, which is this is. Thai you film. You keep saying it. He is a Thai actor, and he is just such a badass in this movie called Ong Bak that they had three of them. And he just kicks ass in it. He's barely even kicking ass in this movie. He kicks... Some ass. He has at least four fights, and everyone else only gets one or two. My problem with this movie, and we'll get to welcoming the baddies. Yeah. My problem with this movie is that there's not enough enemies. It's just one guy. It's, we got it's fake predator. It's exactly what I was gonna say. Bootleg predator that wow. can't see shit through his lenses. Um, I'm super excited. This film, I had a smile on my face every second. Really? Yeah. I like. I was thinking about this. I go, you know what this is for me? What? This is a classic Alejandro stamped feel good movie. Wow. From the very beginning? <laughs> because this movie is so bonkers, so silly. From the beginning. Like, literally, from minute one, smile on my face. Wow. Smile on my face. I don't know if I enjoyed it in the same way that you did. Mine was just, I was just screaming because every single transition was a comic book Final Cut oh. Pro X transition that we could probably figure out. We we'll download do a plugin. Yeah, we'll do that for like our promo. <laughs> for Yes, it'll come up somewhere because it's doable. <laughs> All of the ninja stars from the very, the comet in the beginning, fake. That is the fakest comet I've ever seen. I thought it looked kind of cool though. Really, it looked I know like it a look real. I thought it looked cool though. Yeah. The smoke coming from behind it, I thought looked. I it's, thought the smoke. Looked cool. I don't know, man. This let's 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 talk about it. Uh, welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of ICBTB podcast, also known as it can't, it be, can't that be that bad, bad podcast. If you're not watching this on YouTube, get Check your us ass up off your chair. Get up off of your chair. Ow! <laughs> Make you feel better. Open that laptop. Turn on that TV. Open your phone. Mm-hmm. Go to YouTube.com. YouTube. That's Y-O-U-T-U-B-E dot C-O-M. Yeah. Close that private tab because I know what you were searching the night before. And we also don't get count. The, 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 the view count doesn't go up when you use that. Yep. So Only on YouTube. Use your regular browser. Click on it. Hit that subscribe. Subscribe? Um, um, suscribe. Suscribe. That's what it is. Uh, uh, suscribe to us. Or use the YouTube app if you have the YouTube app. Also, you can just, you know, rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Five stars, no more, no less. Honestly, that stuff helps, guys. Uh, share this. Word of mouth really helps. Uh, we'll be having some new merch drop soon. Very, very soon. In it's going to look so dope. We're going to have dope coming out of our ears. Yeah, that's uh, it's gonna be so cool. We'll be having straight up heroin coming out of these earlobes. I'll tell you that. Dripping. Drip, droppity drop. Drop, droppity drip. Yeah, because it's gonna be drip like Migos meant for it to be. Um, <laughs> before this intro gets any more wacky, let's talk yeah. about the fucking movie that we did. Um, Alejandro, you want to introduce the movie to the baddies? I'd like to introduce you first. Thank you. Go ahead. They, I think they know me. My name's Alejandro, and this is my partner. Christian. And what he means by partner is co-host and best friend. And life partner. Nope. I don't. That's weird. Anyway. Why is it weird? It's just. I, it's. Uh, what's weird? Tell me. Tell me what's weird about it. What's so fucking weird about it? Tell me. Tell me what's weird. I tightened your mic for you. I guess that's something that like a partner. Actually. 
Let me tighten your mic a little bit more. For, I guess the way that I'm treating you right now is like a partner. But it's not romantic. I find we're, it very romantic. We're co-hosts. There you go. Romantic. Your mic was getting a little flaccid and like shaky. But I now like it it's that stable way. and rigid. You I, like it instable, unstable, and flaccid? Can you introduce me to the baddies? Y- yes, this is Alejandro. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, Ooh. hey. Noted. Noted. We watched Son of a <laughs> Bitch. We I'm watched gonna, a movie I'm gonna, called. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh. movie title this you. What? I'm gonna jujitsu you. <laughs> I'm so mad at that transition. <laughs> I've never been more upset at a transition. We watched a movie called Jujitsu, and no, this isn't an Israeli film. This is about an alien. It takes yes, place in Burma. Not much jujitsu in this film. Uh, slim to none. <laughs> Very slim to none. I'd say almost none. No, no jujitsu. Not one an arm ar- bar. One arm bar. Oh, there is one arm bar. Correct. But that's it. No ankle locks. No no gi fighting. No nothing. Nothing. Swords. More swords than there are. A lot jiu-jitsu. of swords. Mm-hmm. Knives. Lots of knives. Like you said, PVC pipes. PVC pipes. Um, sticks. One sticks. Fa- funny black guy. That's couple the grenades. comic relief. That, <laughs> Literally a couple like of grenades. Just a couple of grenades. And Nicolas Cage with the sword. Honestly, so mad that there wasn't more Nicolas Cage. He was only of the six week shoot. He was there for five days. I could see. The first it five showed. days. It showed. The first five days. It really showed. Um, let's get into the nitty gritty because I have so much to say about this bonkers fucking movie you brought to me. Um, I've been looking forward to this film since I saw its first commercial. It's crazy, dude. As soon as I saw an ad for it, I was like, we have to do this. I sent it to you immediately. Is that Nick Cage's real hair? Please tell me no. Yes. Oh. No, because he doesn't have that hair in the special. Uh, I guess. Yeah, he could have cut it off. I don't know. It depends on when it was recorded. 2007. Uh, yep, 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 yep. We watched a movie called Jujitsu. That's right. It has a rating of R. Um, <laughs> Is that a pirate joke? I don't know why you made that click. You don't know? What's the pirate's favorite letter? No, I know that. I oh, don't know okay. why you clicked on it because, like, because it's my favorite joke. Uh, What's the pirate's favorite letter? Yeah, the C. You ruined it. You've said it multiple times. Doesn't mean you step on it. I'm sorry. How many times have you seen my magic tricks? Uh, so many times. And you don't ruin those. I never ruin those. There you go. See, because same thing. Same, same. Same, same. But different. But different. I think we're on a, on the same enough wave, wavelength for this to work. I think we could do, like, choreographed fights. That's how close <laughs> of a brave length we have. You think so? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we could do We, we could do, do this. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> we watched a movie called GGT's Rated Iron. It was released in the year 2020. Mm. I am so sorry. Oh, flexing your Apple Watch here, dude. I don't mean to. It just won't shut up. I'm sorry. How do I make... Does anybody know how to make it quiet? It's the newest Apple Watch, right? Theater mode. Okay. Uh, we watched a movie called Jiu-Jitsu. It was released in the year 2020. Uh, and has a runtime of one hour, 42 minutes, or 102 minutes for Melissa. It has a rating of 2.9 out of 10. And that is dropping as we speak. Uh, when I first checked out this film, it had a three, uh, 30, 31. It's getting worse and worse. 3.1. 3.1. People 3.1. are hating this film more and more. People are hating on it. This is, I think, very on brand for ICBTB. This it's, is what we're here for. I'm telling you, seriously, smile on my face the entire time. You'll get a, it's a, it's an interesting smile that you'll have on your face. This is, I'll, I'll get into it, but I, I've explained how this film is like, a, it's either what's one of two things, but it could be one of three things. The third thing it could be is like um, a teenage boy's wet dream. Mm. Yes, uh, it, it's a wet dream. I don't know if it's a wet dream because literally no sex here. No. Maybe one smooch from the Asian chick with short hair. Real quick smooch, yeah. And out of Nowhere. pocket. It was like, what? Because Girl. because the main character loses his memory and you're like, oh, that's that's borderline rape. Yeah. Missy. Like, like let He doesn't him, know who she is. Take him out to dinner first. Yeah. He, introduce he herself. Doesn't even know where he is. If you really have that connection, he'll fall back in love with you. Yes. He might be physically attracted to you, but you'll never know until you ask. And she didn't ask. She was like, oh, I'm, I'm injured and crying. And then out of nowhere, they start making out. Yeah. Out of pocket. Out of pocket. Has a 30% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 28% on Metacritic. These are low, low numbers. Christian. Hi. Evelyn Baltazar. Not my middle name. Recently, you know how I do that joke? Evelyn and Marie are the two that I use all the time. Yeah. I recently said that joke to a girl and her middle name was actually Marie. Wow. Yeah. Did, that's actually really cool. Did she like like you after that? Like, like, like you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, <laughs> it has a 47%. 
on Google. You ruined the game, dude. Oh my god! As One soon as job. I, said it, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm One so job. Sorry. Okay, Fuck. box office. I'm so fucking. Here, sorry. I know the box office. If you haven't looked at the budget yet, I I know the budget and the box office. Then never mind. It made about seventy thousand last time I checked. Seventy oh, something thousand. I saw fifty thousand. Okay, so it's gone up a little bit. Down. What? Didn't you say seventy? Seventy, and you said you saw fifty thousand. Yes, is seventy thousand. When did you look at fifty? More than fifty. Seventy thousand is more than fifty. Oh, you're saying I, I it went up from fifty to seventy. No, it went down because right now I'm looking at it. And I got fifty one thousand right here. Oh, okay. I don't know what numbers I'm looking at. That sucks. How do you get? How do you take money away from the box office? People, people return the film. They like, <laughs> they like bought it and then they're like, oh man, we made seven seventy thousand dollars, and then they're like, this is dog shit. And then they like returned it, and then they're like, we got to give them their money back. Honestly, don't blame them. If they were expecting something as epic as Crouching Tiger, Hitting Dragon, you're not getting that. I told somebody that this movie is a movie where like, if all the stunt doubles were like, we don't need pretty lead actors. We could do this on our own. And they're just like, I got an idea. Yeah, yeah. I got a camera. Like that's. Let's just make the dialogue a bare minimum. Because we, who cares about the dialogue anyway? Because, you know, okay. Take your breath, Alex. <laughs> you know when you watch something of something you enjoy, you only watch the part that you enjoy. So if you love jet skiing, jet skiing, yes. and you watch a movie and there's a jet skiing scene, like that's your favorite scene because you got to see the jet skis, right? Yeah. So for a stunt man, his favorite scenes are all the action sequences. So when he makes a movie, I imagine it's just going to be a movie of just action, action sequences. sequences. Yep. That's exactly what this is. That's all it is. It's just like how do we say the least? But the most with our body. They all at some point hate acting. They love fighting. I don't even know if they hate acting. I just think they're not. I don't want to say this in a bad way, but they're not the most intense actors. I guess so. I guess so. They're except for Nicholas Cage. He is maybe the the most intense. He's actor. intense. Yeah, especially in this movie. Most movies he's done lately have been intense. Before we jump into it, is there any more from the nitty gritty that you want to say now that... I have a synopsis. Oh, yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Every six years, an ancient order of jujitsu fighters joins forces to battle a vicious race of alien invaders. But when a celebrated war hero goes down in defeat, the fate of the planet and mankind hangs in... The balance. Uh, it was directed by a gentleman by the name of Dimitri Logotitis. I was hoping you say Dimitri Martin. <laughs> uh, but he also wrote the book that this is based on. He also produced this and wrote the screenplay. There's a book. I'm this sorry. Movie's based on a book. What, like a 92 page book? The book's called Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> The book of jujitsu that teaches jujitsu. The, the jujitsu for dummies. <laughs> That's right. Oh man. That's crazy. How is this a book? Because the plot is non existent. Pretty thin. Pretty thin. Like yeah. we just said, guys, there's a comet every six years. There's a jujitsu fight between an alien and like seven dudes. Yes. Eight dudes. I I think nine people. I think nine but one of them's dead. And one of them died earlier. A bunch of them die and we like never they're just like, it's cool. We'll they're, get over it. Yeah, we're not even gonna give them a What's the proper burial yeah. or anything. They're like bye. Bye. Um this movie, it's it's an ICBTB thing of ours to say we could we, this should be a mini series. This should be one episode. It could be one thirty minute episode. This to me is a it's a thirty minute episode of one show in particular. What? It's a thirty minute episode of Rugrats. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, and what I mean by that is, do you remember in Rugrats when they would have their adventures? I know where you're going with this And already. Tommy would, like, pick up a stick, or Chucky would pick up, like, whatever, and then in their adventure, they're in the jungle, and they're all, like, buff, and they have swords, and they have, mm -hmm. like, weapons. I imagine that this is all of their imagination with none of the flashbacks to real world. Yep. Because it is all fantasy make-believe land. Like, at the end of this movie, like, right before, or at the end of credits. Someone should have just woken up and been like, oh my gosh. And then just like, take another bung rip. <laughs> because I would have believed it. That would actually. <laughs> that would have been a better ending. This movie would have made twice the amount of money it made so far. Totally. Just totally. for that twist alone. Nicolas Cage's character. Yes. Just like pulls up from a bong load and he's just like. <laughs> I would love to see that. That would be that would be awesome. Because I don't know how seriously this movie is already taking itself. Because You can't take. Okay. I, I am honest in the fact that this is truly stunt people 
decided to make this film. Yeah. Every lead actor in this film is a stunt actor. Frank Grillo is a UFC fighter and a stunt actor. But Frank he's... Grillo, I've seen him before, and he was in some Marvel of the movies. Purge movies and in Marvel movies yep. as Crossbones. He is Crossbones, and uh, he's one of the Shield agents. Yes, and he was in a couple of the Purge films. Yeah, actually, fairly uh, popular actor. I think he might be the second most popular actor in this film behind Nicolas Cage. Yes. However, the lead guy, uh, Alan Mosso- Mosi, M-O-U-S-S-I, yes, Mosi. Yes. He's a he, Canadian. He is. He is. Wow, nice, good pull. Um, do you know what movies he's been in? Um, I didn't look deeper. I know that he's in a TV show where Jean-Claude Van Damme plays his dad. It was like a revamp. Uh, I believe that was The Kickboxer. The Kickboxer, correct. Um, but here's a couple of movies that he was in that uh, you may not realize. He was in X-Men Apocalypse, oh. X-Men Days of Future Past. He was in Immortals. He was in Suicide Squad. He was in White House Down. He was in the kickboxing movies, like we just said. But he did not play a character. He was a stunt double. Really? He was a stunt double for Hugh Jackman. He was a stunt double for Henry Cavill. He was a stunt double for Jay Courtney. He is a very well-renowned stunt double in his own right. I think you can kind of tell. You see it. That he's a great stunt double. You could see it in his action and his in his fighting. Um, I think that's. I think watching this movie shows you exactly how tough it is to be a casting director because you see, like, oh man, he's got everything. He's just not a good actor. Doesn't quite. Not even. I'm not even just something about him doesn't quite look like leading man. Mm. There's just he's a great. He's a good you, actor. You, you want to know what it is? Uh, in my opinion, what? that makes him look a little weird. His hairline's a little too low. His hairline just comes up a little like like I He's understand a, a good head. hairline. His two head it's just like not enough space between the brows and the hairline. He definitely you know he I think he looks like somebody else, which is what makes a good stunt double. <laughs> right? So yes, you can yes. like fake it so but he looks like somebody else. Now, I don't know who he looks like. But somebody else. But somebody else. Yes, he doesn't I get look exactly like him. what you mean. He looks he does kind of a little bit like Frank Grillo. If at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, they say that Frank Grillo was his dad, I would have also been like, Yeah, yes. totally. Totally. Yep. I get that. No yep. wonder he knows who Jake is. I was one. So with the opening scene, it's him running away from these ninja stars. Took me about 45 minutes past that scene to realize that that's the same guy, that that's Jake. I didn't know that was the main character. I thought that person just died. When they brought up that number nine died and we don't have to worry about him. I thought that was number nine. <laughs> no, it, that's the main character. And it wasn't until later I was like, well, I rewatched it. I actually watched this film twice. It wasn't when I rewatched it. I was like, oh, that's Jake. Oh, oh. that's him. What a crazy... I mean, just a crazy movie. Before we actually dive deeper into the movie, I want to talk a little bit about Nicolas Cage. Because regardless of how unsuccessful he's been lately in terms of Hollywood... And this is not adding to his success. No, not at all. It's pulling him down deeper into that void. It's for him. It's uh, he, I, he has a special place in my heart. I love Nicolas Cage. I love movies like The Family Man. Yes. Um, I just recently watched that. Dude, Leaving Las Vegas. Like, and Very sad. The National Treasure he was great in. Which I apparently, will... it's not that hard to storm the Capitol. Uh, yes. <laughs> I oh thoroughly my... believe Nicolas Cage could have stolen the Declaration of Independence now. <laughs> yeah. Apparently security's a joke in D.C. This is proof. These The people that rioted and stormed the Capitol must have watched National Treasure prior. They're like, guys, I have an idea. Yeah, I could fucking do this. This is easy. Where's the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> <laughs> that's why they were there they were there to steal the declaration of independence that's what it was yeah they're trying to make another sequel to national treasure what people don't realize is that was national treasure 3 but it's all a front to film it so that it looks realistic in the ah that's film. what it just it got was. way out of hand a little too out of the hand extras <laughs> we have too many extras here everyone back the fuck up anyways anyway jiu-jitsu um, so nicholas cage it was I, a black belt i i love him so much he it's it's very sad because at one point he was worth his net worth was like 150 million dollars. His current net worth is only 25 million dollars. Well, I don't feel bad because he outbid Leonardo DiCaprio for a dinosaur skull. Do you know for how much? Uh I don't know how much. 60 million dollars for wa- a Mongolian to- dinosaur skull. Oh my god. Oh my god. Outbid I don't think that's the craziest sentence. He outbid Leonardo DiCaprio. For a skull. One of the best actors to have ever lived. Nicolas Cage also used to own for a brief time the most haunted bar in New Orleans. I believe I yeah. told you about this. La Lori uh, Ma- uh, Manor or something like that. The most haunted uh, place. I didn't One of the most know haunted the name, places. but yeah, that's cool. It's, uh, I know that, the story. But um, I've, never been, I, I've been across the street from it. 
That's crazy. I've been across the street from the building, but I, but of course it's boarded up. Nobody's been, but like George Clooney also used to own it. Um, so like, of course, only rich people could went own. through a bunch of different owners. I mean, because it's like kind of like a cool novelty to own. Uh, no, apparently they like they own it and they try to open it and it's just cursed. So you can't every time they try to open. Tom Hanks owned it for a while. Every time oh. they try to open it, like just, they just keep getting hit with. Do more you and more think stuff. that this curse just hit Nicolas Cage a little harder than the other people that have owned that manor? If that's probably what it is. That's why his career took a downfall. Clooney bought his right before he did Batman. Ooh, so don't buy that haunted place. But Hanks also owned it for a while. Yeah, and then he was the first one that got Corona. <sighs> it's all coming together. You're good. Thank You're you. really Thank good. You. Yeah, you are earning your Patreon cut. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Uh, we'll start a Patreon soon, baddies. It's uh, OnlyFans.com slash ICBTB. <laughs> um, he also owned two separate castles in Europe. A private island uh, that was three million, uh, three million dollars. We just do a Nicolas Cage podcast, dude. We would have so many episodes before. Could we play our things. favorite game with Nicolas Cage? Yes. You want to play? I would love to. Okay, I'm not gonna look, but I am gonna pull up his thing, um, and then we'll just we'll just play our favorite game, ladies and gentlemen. Our favorite game is where we go back and forth naming famous films of an actor. Today's topic: Nicholas Kim Coppola, aka Nicholas Cage. You know uh, the surname that he was thinking of using before thinking of Cage? Uh, was it Coppola because his uncle is Francis Ford Coppola? Blue. He was thinking of naming himself Nicholas Blue. That would have been his Hollywood alias. That's dumb as fuck. I still think he should have kept Coppola. Coppola's dope. That's such a popular... Yes, it's fucking Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah, you want did. that name on you. Apparently he did. Oh, well, he got the success nonetheless without it. I think Sophia, I think he saw what happened to Sophia. Oh, and he was like, Ooh, I don't I was like oh, I'm not going to be that good. Yeah. Shall we begin? We shall. Uh, our favorite game, and then we'll get into the storyline of jujitsu yes. or lack thereof. <laughs> uh, yes. So, Nicolas Cage movie, starting with um, Beast Before Beauty. Okay. Con Air. I was going to go jujitsu. Okay. Easy ones. We're getting the easy ones out of the way. Leaving Las Vegas. Face off. National Treasure. National Treasure 2, semicolon, Book of Secrets. Okay. Um, let's see. He was in Ghost Rider. He was also in Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Nice. The Family Man. Oh, nice. Wicker Man. Okay. I just watched another one. Uh, what was it called? It was by David Lynch. It's called Wild at Heart. Oh, good. Face off. You just said that. Oh, I did? You okay. Did say- I meant The Rock. <laughs> I love the confidence, though. Okay, The Rock. Let's see. What else? The Rock is so good. Oh, give me a second. Give me a second. Why am I blanking right now? I know so many. I know so many. I swear. Oh, Season of the Witch. Nice. What's the one where he's first fights Osama bin Laden? Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Fuck. What's the one where he's first fights Osama bin Laden? Fuck. You got this. Come on, dude. You got this. Here, just go with a different one and then come back to it. Okay. Uh, okay. Nicholas Cage is. That is, you could play this at home too, and then you I'm must sure. be screaming, screaming at, us. at us right now. And on their way, they're gonna go to work and have an angerism. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know which one I'm talking about? Where you started fighting Osama? I think I know the title. Okay, I'm gonna have to change gears a little bit. I think Nicholas Cage was also in a film. Come on, dude. Think of his bad movies that he's made recently, and that's a lot of bad movies. I can see him, but I can't. Come on. I want to play this game. <sighs> you hit me with one. Maybe I'll think of it. Okay. You've won. I will give you. I will concede victory. Okay. Lord of War. Damn it. That's not the one where he sword fights Osama Bin Laden. Nope. I still have that in my back pocket. Fuck. Lord of War is so good. It's not about how expensive war is. It's about no. how do we get them. To pay more. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, fuck. <laughs> one Man Army? One Man Is that the one where he fights Osama? I believe that's the title. Mm. Is One Man Army. Good, 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 good. A crazy uh, crazy trivia fact is that why is Nicolas Cage always in these sword fights? He sword fights an alien in this movie. He sword fights... And does an incredible job. An incredible job. He is a black in belt there. in some martial arts, so maybe he's trained and... In, in, uh, I wonder how much, how many of his own stunts that he does in like in the past. Up until now. 60%. You think? Well, now he's like a little old. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah. So he sword fights Osama bin Laden in One Man Army. 
He sword fights the devil in Season of the Witch. And he sword fights this alien in this movie. He fights everybody. He's I just, can't wait for him to sword fight Jesus. Uh, at some, I would not be surprised. Remember, I told you that he's coming out with a movie, a very meta movie. Uh, where he plays himself or something like that? The weight, something, something of unbearable weight, where he plays himself going bankrupt and he's trying to audition for like the newest Quentin Tarantino movie. I love it. And he gets caught up in the, some sort of like cartel war and he has to save the day. Easily, hands down, that might be the thing that saves his career. I have a list of movies here by Nicolas Cage. All right, let's... Uh, Don't kick yourself too hard for this one, guys. I'm going to fucking punch my guts out. The Croods. The Croods, A New Age. I wouldn't know that. You've never seen The Croods? The no. Croods is actually pretty funny. The animated film. Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. Teen Titans Go to the movies. He's in a movie called Dark. He's in a movie called Mandy, which oh, is the one where he's covered daughter? in blood. Yep. Mom did. and Dad is another one. Army of One. USS Indianapolis. The Trust. The Runner. Dying Light. Left Behind. Rage. Lord of War. The Weatherman. The Ant Bully. The World Trade Center. Uh, Sony. Or Sunny, depending on how you pronounce it. A Christmas Carol movie. We did uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. Oh, which is such a good one. How did we forget that? Eight Millimeter. Snake Eyes. City of Angels. The Rock. Oh, I said that one. We said Leaving Las Vegas. Kiss of Death. Trapped in Paradise. Guarding Tess. Deadfall. Red Rock West. Amos and Andrew. Honeymoon in Vegas. He... <laughs> Firebirds, Vampire's Kiss, Moonstruck, Raising Arizona. Fuck, Cher's in that one. <laughs> Just He's in so many movies. We miss that. <sighs> Sorry, Nick Cage. Sorry, Nick We're Cage. We're going to talk about this one, though. We're talking about one in particular. Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu. Nicolas Cage has some very long hair. And in honor of Nicolas Cage's long hair, I brought a little something. Oh, a surprise? Jiu-jitsu hair. So I could never be confident enough to actually grow my hair this long. It would be too much work. I've talked to very a lot of women, and it's a lot of work to have long hair. It is. I love long. I love long women, and I love long hair. <laughs> and I love long hair on long women. You need a like a bandana so you can like really look like him. Oh shit! Maybe pull pull the hairline down so you can look like um, Anthony Mososi. Oh, I should swoop it to to one side. You look like you're about to go Super Saiyan, bro. If you're listening to this, you're missing all of the sexy visuals that you could be seeing on YouTube. That's why you should go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Okay. And you I'm look like back. an emo, like a, like a goth kid in the eighth grade. Cut my life into pieces. <laughs> I only this think of Papa Roach. Last no breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding. <laughs> Very... Very visual and very sad song. Yes. Don't yes. give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding. Um, I'm going to take this off in probably five minutes. But we'll see how... Damn, I could see myself in the screen, and I look hot as fuck. I like it, honestly. Thank you. Work on it. Thank you very much. That and the beard. He said, okay, the beard's got to come in. I haven't shaved in like one week. I know. Just for I you. I didn't want to say anything because I was afraid it would like you'd be like, oh shit, you're right. Let me shave before the episode. No, uh, no, I'll shave after the episode. Damn it. Uh, anyway, jujitsu. This movie's Juk bonkers. Jitsu. Um, you don't see Nicolas Cage until sorry, hair's getting in my mouth. You don't see Nicolas Cage until minute forty. No, he's in the first scene. What's the first scene? He discovers Jake's body in the water. Oh! But then he does disappear for like the rest of the movie, and then you're like, oh shit, was that Nicolas Cage? Yeah, you. I think that's why. <laughs> I don't know. I think I must have been snacking too hard that I wasn't looking at the TV when I was watching this. Holy shit. And yeah, he doesn't show up until minute 40. I believe it. Um, but before that, a bunch of crazy shit already happens. There's also no jujitsu. I know we've said this before. There is zero jujitsu in the film. That's why we have zero things on our board here. Uh, because uh, <laughs> we're representing the same amount of jujitsu as this film. It's non-existent. Um, and the special effects, might I say, these ninja stars. Final Cut Pro. It's... It's just CGI'd in. What makes me upset about this, it's so funny, that it seemed like they only used the first takes. They <laughs> they used shots of actors just running and standing there looking scared, and then they made a last-minute decision, oh, we should CGI a bunch of ninja stars, because they're yes. not trying to dodge the ninja no, stars. No, just flying past them. Just flying. They're this Constantly just flying, like, shoop, shoop, shoop. This ninja alien has terrible accuracy. Uh, and supposedly he's like the biggest killer in the universe he's the best he's a, apparently the one that brought jujitsu to earth 
to teach humans to get good so that he'll have a challenge. Where is jujitsu from? No clue. Maybe it's from Burma. Maybe that's why it takes place in Burma. Is it Burmese? I don't know. It was filmed in Cyprus, though. Can you look it up? Can you look up uh, the origin of uh, I know jiu-jitsu? Brazilian jiu-jitsu is from, uh, I want to say Mexico. I think it's from the Arctic. I think it's Mexican. I think I've seen an Eskimo doing jiu-jitsu. That's called Inuit jitsu. Oh. oh. Inuitsu. He gets really Inuit. It's called Inuitsu. Mm. He gets really Inuit? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Mm, um, um This movie is, is about a guy who hits his head and can't remember anything. So... There is constantly, when we are going like, what? What's happening? Who are these people? The fuck is going on? The main character is also going, huh? What? Who's this, this? Is What's going on? Genius writing. The writers wanted us to feel like the main character. And sometimes we even see third person through the character. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I read one <laughs> review that I will say, this is the movie that, they, that you make your boyfriend or son watch when they won't put the video game thing down and you let them pick the movie. <laughs> Dude, okay, that was like the first big fight scene, right? So, yeah, and they never go back to it. They only do it once. That's it. They only do the hardcore Henry thing one time. They drop it. They're like, this so, isn't working. Not even for the full fight, because sometimes like he puts the camera down, and then he like jumps in front of the camera and fights, and then like jumps back and grabs the camera. So, baddies, if you haven't seen this film, we'll try to paint, paint the picture for you. In this fight scene, you'll see, you'll see the main character kind of fall on the ground and roll towards the camera. And when he rolls toward the camera, the he camera picks up with him. And now you're in first person as him. But not at like his head height, at like mid chest height. So you're confused. You think you're a small person. Because there's times when the camera leaves that point of view and he like comes around it. You're like at waist height. Yeah. Yeah. We, you're ba- pretty much at the perspective of his penis. <laughs> what does the dick oh, see during a fight? I've always wondered. Yeah. I'm pretty sure mine just goes because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> scared during a fight <laughs> took a really serious turn right there because i'm scared <laughs> like the way you looked at me too you're like dude okay i want to keep talking about this first um uh, fight scene because <laughs> it seemed that there were like 40 u.s soldiers there but only one person shooting at a time nobody <laughs> five can, bullets in hey, different directions we can't shoot at the same time that's a waste of ammo <laughs> how am i supposed to see who's in charge of i also think it's crazy i love this idea of people forgetting everything Except high level fighting tactics. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, he doesn't know where he's from, where he's at, what's his name? Nothing. But he remembers English and he remembers how to fight. Um, the woman who is in the army intelligence. Oh, she's kind of pretty, yeah. She's the main character's baby mama. Mm, really? Little hot goss. That's what it is. I have a feeling everybody who made this film was friends. Because they're all like stunt doubles who are like, we could make our own film. They all re- uh, relate to each other in some way or another maybe they're actually related to each other you think they're all even no 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 no. even no, no. the asian they girl married. they got married the oh interesting interesting so i want to talk about tony ja okay. is also an ong bak did he did Bless he say you. one word no no not at all no interesting i think that's racist that's very racist nick cage you got to say a bunch he said too many, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Um, People think I'm crazy. I, I got to also look up the name real quick of one other actor uh, who was in this film because I recognized him from the first Fast and the Furious. Oh, which one? Rick Rick Yun. He was oh. the, he was the first one to die from the alien. Then he like comes back later. And he's like, you have to you have to remember. You remember Rick Young? Captain Sand. He's the Captain one. Captain Sand. Yes. He dies because he picks up this uh, LMG and just and keeps just shooting the alien. Obliterates the alien, and then the alien's just like, just mm-hmm. kidding. Just ki- this alien just rejuvenates within five to six seconds. Much like Wolverine. I was gonna say the uh, the T one thousand. Oh, from Terminator. Yeah. Crazy man! Every single time we watch these movies, we keep adding to the list who would win in a battle royale. Okay, so now we have three people here. Okay, we have the classic T one hundred. We have the classic RoboCop. Mm-hmm. We have Jujitsu Alien. Who wins? Okay, RoboCop, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator, and this guy. No, I, I don't really like Brax. Brax hasn't. Uh, What's right? You do know his name. The alien in this movie has a name, and it's just, it's a stupid name. So uh, Christian 
pointed out to me that Brax is the name of the alien. I didn't know Brax was the name of the alien. I've watched this whole movie twice and thought that Brax was one of the guys. Nope. I thought Brax was somebody in the group, and I was like, yeah, what's up with Brax? Why is he such a jerk? Dude, nope, it's Brax. Brax is just trying to kill everyone. Ugh. Brax had such a... Also, weird thing to point out real quick. What? When you first introduced to Brax, they have like a, a, a cave painting of him on the wall. Mm-hmm. He kind of has like a weird like two eyes and a smile under his like face mask yeah and then like later in the movie he actually has like eyes and a smile under the face mask. you know what he looks like is in power rangers yes the t what's what's the name of the guy that's in charge of the power rangers zordon zordon i'm so sorry i was about to say brian cranston he looks well, like not you would still be right yeah i'd still be right but i am embarrassed that i forgot the name of zordon that's basically what his face screen looked like yes <clears throat> but like cloudy zordon yeah, and a reptile underneath? Cause he was, was he a reptile? He looked reptilian. Ooh. Ooh. Are we going in that direction? No, you always cut out that part when you make me go there. I um, don't cut it out. I leave it in. <laughs> fight a nickel. Um, uh, <laughs> Frank Grillo does the best bad acting. Okay, go go deep into that. Because what he, it's, it's, he's clearly like Frank Grillo. Yeah. Right. But he's also like, when would Frank Grillo have two knives and be fighting an alien? So it's like, it's clearly not that big of character work. Yeah. Yet at the same time, like, of course it is because this movie is just so outlandish. Real Frank Grillo is not like that. How much character work can you put into this, into this work of art? I mean, arguably the, the, the hardest character to play would be Jake and you're just playing amnesia. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that'd be easy. Yeah. Right. But that's my point. Mm. That's arguably the hardest character. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I want you, I want to try something with you. Let's, Jiu-jitsu. Um, if I if I could, I would. I would love to record that. But let's pretend you just woke up, okay, in a hospital, <gasps> and you don't know where you are. Where am I, uh, Mr. Middleton? Calm down, Mr. Who Middleton. Are you? You're you're in Burma. I'm in Burma. You're in Burma right now. Where the now. fuck is Burma? Burma's in Asia. Asia's a continent. Where in Asia? It's in the east. <laughs> Sorry, this is. <laughs> don't ask me questions. That I don't know geography. You don't know either. I don't know either. But you're in a hospital in Burma right now. You fell from a comet. I fell from a comet. I think that's what's going on. Actually, there's a comet that flies over us every six years. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'd be the worst person to treat an amnesia patient. <laughs> Where's Burma? I, I, I also don't know where Burma is. Um, so here's the thing: Do you know where Burma is? No, I just asked you that. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Oh fuck! Damn, dude. Okay, I'm sorry. So I wake up with amnesia. Yeah, you're, you're, you're. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, like, because you're saying it's a hard role to play. What's scarier: waking up with amnesia on an island and being told you have to fight a jujitsu alien? Or waking up on Earth and being the only human? Oh, fuck. That's a good question. That's a really good question. Would you rather like wake up and be forced into a fight that you don't think you're prepared for because you don't remember prepping for it? And they're all like... The other thing that I thought was kind of interesting in this film was they're like, Jake, it's your plan, remember? It's your plan. They're being such assholes about they're it. They're being real dicks. Like, Why he, not just tell him the whole plan again? Yeah. How come? It, clearly, he doesn't remember shit. Why not just say, hey, Jake, remember this plan? You created it, but let me run you through it one more time. First, we'll send in one, then two, then three, then the rabbit, then the this, then the that. No. They're constantly just like, Jake, it's your plan. You know what it is. They're such assholes about it. Jake keeps saying, I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I swear, guys, I, I don't, don't know who anything. I am. I don't, I don't know, know who, who you are. are. I don't know what I am. I don't know how I know how to fight. And they're like, okay, we get it. You don't remember. But you don't remember the plan that you came up yeah, with? Yeah, and they're like, you don't remember? Here's a weapon <laughs> that you need to be highly skilled in to it's use. Like, okay, I got it. I hope you didn't forget this. And it's like, oh, he clearly did. This is secondhand nature. He says he's forgotten everything. Dude, and Jake did not forget how to lift weights at the gym. This guy was so buff. How come amnesia parent, uh, patients know how to talk still? No clue. You think all of your motor reflexes, including the one that provides you with uh, speaking abilities. You should like, go back to baby. Yes, you should be. Wake gr- up and be like, ah. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, exactly. But this guy, he was pretty articulate for the five words he said. Does he know what jujitsu is? I, I don't know. He's like, I don't know what my name is, but I know jujitsu. Why did they throw the word jujitsu into this movie? Why isn't this movie just called Fight Island? Yes, or Ninja Alien, or Cheap Predator, <laughs> or Asian chick short hair, <laughs> or <laughs> Stunt Doubles found a camera, <laughs> token black comedian guy. 
That guy was actually pretty funny. He was very funny. I, I need to ask, though, can you be in the U.S. Army with that haircut? No. <laughs> Hell no. I also like the idea of a translator that's not good at being a translator. He said that. He Every fourth word. He read Burmese for dummies. And yeah. He did not know how to translate at all. Um, we keep calling it knockoff predator. That's because Jujitsu Alien also turns invisible like the Predator. Mm-hmm. Also has weapons that he shoots out of his hands. Can also scan the area. Has a mini map on his optics. But not if they're wearing that cloak. Yes. Yes. I don't. But that cloak looked like cheap so fabric thin. from Michaels. It wouldn't even protect you from like a warm wind. You could get that from the spirit store. If you wore that in the summer, you'd still catch pneumonia. Dude, it's a hoodie without the sleeves. And a cape. <laughs> and a cape. It's a cape hoodie. Figure out what you want. Are your arms hot, but your torso is cold? And you need to cover your head to keep your heat in? Fuck out of here, Make up dude. your mind. Make up your mind. Make up your goddamn Y'all mind. Y'all look like skanky Jedis. <laughs> Slut, slut Jedi, you slut Jedi, whoops, whoops, slut Jedi. You slut Jedi. Um, oh uh, fuck! I did also say one other thing that I think this film is is I don't know if you ever had this when you were in like middle school or something. Did you ever watch those videos of like summer camp, like the sleepaway camps? Mm. There was one sleepaway camp that I always wanted to go to as a kid, and it was like a improv based summer camp and then at the end of the camp at the end of the week they put on like an improv show and everybody got to play games and it was fun but they also had like space camp and like i imagine this movie was made at filmmakers camp where for like over the course of the next eight weeks we're gonna make a movie just think of the craziest things you guys can think of we're gonna make it and like these kids all got together wrote down all their crazy outlandish ideas yeah and then he's got nunchucks and then he's got a sword and it's an alien and nicholas cage is there and then they like bring it to them and the, and the director's like Yes, Perfect. make it. Here's twenty five million dollars. Make it, and it's like, okay, okay, they did anything. It. They did it, and so they got these nice cameras, these nice boom mics. Here's my thing about this film, okay, and I need to I need to get this off my chest because it's a little something that I've been worried about. This film was based on a book that was written by the director and the producer and by the same guy, so that tells me. That this guy not only wrote this entire story and made it into a book, but then thought that that idea was so good that he needed to adapt it into a film. And I don't know if it's like, did he have rough patches where he like gives up or he's like typing? He's like, man, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. What the fuck am I doing? And then he's like, no, no, I have to finish this movie. I have to finish jujitsu. So he goes back and finishes jujitsu. Or was he... I don't know what's scarier, or if it's the other side, and he's just like, yeah, and then Nicolas Cage shows up, and then they have a sword, so and pumped. then there's an alien. Like, I don't know what's worse, especially for us. We've picked up projects and put them down. What's worse? Did this guy work through his, like, breaks and his dramas and just like, I have to finish jujitsu, or, or is he just pumping out such hot shit that he's just like, and then the comet, and then every six years. I'm going to win then, an Oscar. And we'll film in Burma. And it's this like, is going to be fucking fantastic. What happened? Frank Grillo. I don't know what's worse. I don't know what makes me feel I'm better. I'm glad that he finished it. I'm pretty sure it'd been a waste of but time. But that makes me feel bad for myself because think about all the things that we haven't finished. That could have been like jujitsu. This guy can finish jujitsu twice. Yes. Finish it as a book and as a screenplay. And we could have accomplished so much at this point. We could be writing Titanic too. Yes. Holy shit. We should. <laughs> Anytime we give up a project, we just have to look at jujitsu. Yes, this will re-inspire us. We need a poster. Baddies, if you can find us a poster for this film, Jiu-Jitsu, that didn't release in theaters. Of either Nicolas Cage and his headband holding a sword. we That's actually all we want. Send it to us, please, so we can look at it and be inspired. I want to be in awe at all times. By Dmitry Logan, Loganatov. Yes, that guy. Killing it. You know, actually, he was thinking of Bruce Willis, Willis to play yes. Nicolas Cage's part. Bruce Which would have been a different movie. Bruce, You know why Bruce Willis didn't do it? He was filming like three other movies at the same time or some shit? He was contracted to make three films with MoviePass. Oh my God, you remember MoviePass? I guess that contract's not open anymore. Short-lived. I didn't trust it. I didn't like it. I was dating a girl at the time who's like, I love MoviePass. I see 10 movies in a week and it's. I was like, I feel like you're scamming the system. Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, yeah, but I'm not the one at fault. It's like MoviePass. I was like, yeah, but exactly. it is a scam though, right? And she's like, no, it's not a scam. I was like, no, no, no. This looks and smells like a scam. 
Like, how does that make sense? You pay five dollars a month and you get unlimited movies. That's the point. How that the was fuck the does point. That work? I don't no, know. Someone's does, getting scammed for sure. It doesn't sure. work. That's why the company folded. Yeah. That's why, because it doesn't make sense. But I'm not tripping about the company because guess what? I was a movie pass holder and I abuse. I used and abused it for like three months. I know months. you did. I know. You I did. used the hell out of it and. The, what was the worst that happened? Oh, it stopped. Movie pass. The worst that I'm happened sorry. is movie pass shut down. That's all. That's all. Yeah, they they should have known that this wouldn't have worked. I don't. I mean, I just could. I can see a bad business from a mile away. Yeah, there's no way that they were able to reap any benefits from there. They got. How did they I, make any revenue? Exactly. How? How? But they didn't. And did those Bruce Willis movies ever come out? I don't think so. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt. Yeah. Do you have a best person on Saturday? Ooh, dude. I think I'm gonna have to give mine to. Uh, Tony Ja. Tony Ja. I'm gonna your, give mine to Tony Ja because you like uh, mukbang a lot, huh? It's a uh, ong bak and uh, not mukbang. Mukbang I can't watch for that long because I'm like it's a little messy and I can't imagine all the sauces you're getting on the microphone. Uh, <laughs> Did that out of everything we've talked about, that's the one that <laughs> halted you. I just imagine putting like right here on my mic, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be bad if like my mic fed me pudding as I ate as I talked. Mm -mm. No, none of the listeners would want to hear putting on the mic. Putting on the mic. Put putting on the mic. Uh, putting, putting on the mic. mic. Put putting put on, on the mic. mic. Hey, putting, putting on, on the, the mic. mic. Put putting. Yeah, on. yeah. Putting on the mic. You got putting on the mic. You got a chocolate on the mic. Vanilla putting on the mic. You got tapioca. Putting in the mic. Whatever. Putting in the mic. You got a snack putting pack. In the mic. Put, real good. But you got putting, in the mic. putting put, on the put, mic. Putting the mic. Now my mic is broken. Putting in the mic. That's four hundred dollar down the drain. Put putting in the mic. Who's gonna buy me another microphone? Putting in the mic. The snack pack company. Putting in the mic. Putting in the mic. Putting in the mic. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. If you're still here. Yeah, thanks for listening. My best person on Title Award is Dimitri Logothetis. That's mm. our director, screenplay, book writer, man who just has the sheer will of an iron giant. He got through it. He How? definitely got through it. He needs to write a master class on getting through writer's block. Yes, because he's either he such an inspiring either person. He, yeah, either he has the secret of like endless knowledge or he has a secret to like just getting over those hurdles. Yeah. If you're ever doubting yourself, watch, watch this Jiu -Jitsu. fucking movie. And you could be like, I could, if he could do it, I could do it. And, and I could make something better. If you start doubting what we're saying, think about it this way. He then brought that screenplay to a producer. And that producer. I was watching. Um, so there's a Netflix series called The Movies That Made Us. Yes, I love that. I and love it, it took, and I was watching the one specifically about Elf. And yep. all of the hurdles that Elf had to go through just to get produced. It's supposed to be Chris Farley. It was supposed to be Chris Farley. Would have been a different movie. And people didn't want Will Ferrell originally because he wasn't a leading man mm -hmm, quite yet. Mm -hmm. Very funny SNL cast member, but not quite the leading man. I especially agree. for kids. And that, they went through hell and back just to get that made and produced. Poor and Helen. The fact... That's such a great movie. Went through that many obstacles. And this movie, Jiu-Jitsu, probably went, went through, through none. none. Just like green light all the way through. Or, or. What? Is Dimitri sitting in every single boardroom and is like, no. And then the asteroid, then the comet flies over the sky. And, mm -hmm. and then the boardroom's like, you know, I almost was out. But he brought up that Jiu-Jitsu alien. Yep. And I'm back on board. I'm back in. You telling me. You're telling me that this jujitsu alien has ninja stars coming out of his wrist? He's going through these board meetings being like, and you know who's going to star in it? Bruce Willis. <laughs> and everyone's like, fantastic. This take our money. Fantastic. Take. And then he, Bruce Willis from Die Hard? Then he has, <laughs> uh, I, Bruce hope, Willis. I hope he doesn't mean the other Bruce Willis <laughs> from Hard Death. Because that movie sucked. <laughs> that was terrible. He uh, should change his name. Um, no, but then, then when he doesn't get Bruce Willis, now he has to go back to them back. Guys, 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 I understand <laughs> this was contingent on Bruce Willis, but I got something even better. Uh, who is it? Nicolas Cage. From <laughs> Leaving from Las Wicker Vegas? Man? <laughs> What's it? From Raising Arizona? <laughs> Their first thing is like his oldest shit ever. From Raising Arizona? Really? That's him? From Wild at Heart? Coppola's kid? Yeah, Coppola's, Coppola's nephew. nephew. Coppola's nephew, right? In 2018, referencing Nicolas Cage to that. Uh, or or they're so fringe that they're like, the failed Superman movie? Oh, that's right. That's for like six people who listen to this podcast. Yes, I'm taking my wig off, by the way. Well, you know what? We're almost done. Why don't you just keep it off for the rest of the show? It hurts. Give it, give it, the, give it the whap. I can't commit. The, the whap? whap? Yeah, that's it's what you... It's not the whap. A whap is a wet-ass pussy. That's what you do when you have an itchy head with a wig. A wet-ass pat? Okay, maybe I'll wear the wig. I won't wear the headphones. We're almost done. Yeah, you're right. Um, ratings, and then we can take your wig off. 
Um, two out of five for me. A this, two out of five. This is a one out of five for me. It is as bad as you would think it is, but that does not mean it's not a great watch. That does not mean it's very motivating. Just, I honestly can't get over the fact that either he had day in and day out success writing until this film was done, mm-hmm. or he was able to get over those hurdles. It's incredible. Something happened. Something happened. His wife must have been great to him. Just said, you could do it, honey. Or like, or his wife leaves. She takes the kids. She sues him. And then he's just like, I have to finish this movie now. This is motivation. This movie destroyed my family. I need to finish this This is movie. what Rocky was to Steven Seagal. Or <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, Every I'm sorry. Time, no, no, no. This is what Rocky was, was to Steven Seagal. You're still right on that. We're not changing that. This is what Rocky is to Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal watched Rocky in the movie theaters and thought to himself, I can make subclass films as well and then he made those films like line of duty and he made that film where he's like teaching people karate in russia oh my god that's such <laughs> seeing that video of him it's sad w- wearing the uh what do the you call gi? that the gi and like wearing the tiny sunglasses that he has that barely covers his eyes very sad he's got and now he his neck connects straight to his no- torso or his like his he's just a thumb he's you a thumb of a person are fixated on people's necks um, yes, if you're a martial artist and you went from what you were into like... But like, you you know it is thickness and you're very quick to comment on neck size. Yeah, Vince Vaughn looks has the same body shape as uh, Steven Seagal. No, Vince Vaughn's got a long neck like... Vince Vaughn got giraffe neck like me. I don't know. No, 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 no. You have a longer neck than Vince Vaughn. Vince tall, Vaughn there's no way tall people, a tall man like Vince, Vince Vaughn. Young Vince Vaughn had a good jawline and good neck. Are you getting, but like, is this because he has a double chin? Now you're saying he doesn't have a neck? Yeah, I mean, you could have a double chin, but there's like a point of no return where <laughs> the double chin is covering just your neck. Covering your neck. You think Vince Vaughn's there? It, he getting there. I mean, he's better now. Oh, I have hey. the utmost respect yeah, for I'm that. Not, man. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. We're just we are big Vince Vaughn. Yeah, of course. But I, but, but. I don't know. I, I Sometimes I agree with your no-neck statements, like this last one. I don't understand the Vince Vaughn no-neck really? statement. Really? Yeah, because he's, he's got a neck. We have to look at his neck. He's like seven feet tall. Seven he's feet huge. tall people have to have necks. Did you end up watching a cell, a Brawl in Cell Block? Not yet. Dude, please. You, I think you would actually really like it. Have you seen the most recent episode of, um, or the most recent season of Kirby Enthusiasm? No. Because Vince Vaughn's in like two or three episodes. I Cannot get enough of that. It's fucking oh my gosh. There's an old man who's like reading pornos at the. At, you just got to check it okay, out. Okay, I'll check it out. Uh, check us out, though, guys. Uh, you can follow me at call underscore me Jesus. You could follow me. Oh my gosh, wait up. Let me let me do the fat kid shirt pull real quick. The fupa. The I don't fat kid shirt pull. Actually, you're way off Who's with fun? that. Uh, you know what a fupa is, right? It's a fuck. It's a fan. I don't know what it is. A fat upper pussy area? Oh! Or a fat upper penis area. Mm. So, like, let's say if a girl's wearing, like, high-waisted jeans, and then there's that, like, bump that shows a little That's bit. That's a muffin top. No, not necessarily. Like, right above the the, 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 the the pussy. Right above there, and it's like like a like a big roll. That's a fupa. I knew what it was. I just like hearing you explain. Ah, oh, you're turning me into, like, a bad urban dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best <laughs> urban dictionary. Urban dictionary for dummies. <laughs> Um, uh, did you ever Urban Dictionary your name? No, it's pro- that'd be an interesting one since my name's Christian. I, I did mine. It's pretty How'd good. It go? It's not bad. Some people have really bad Urban Dictionary names. Mine's not bad. All right, baddies, look it up. Um, yes, find us at ICBTB Podcast everywhere. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. That's everything. Uh, you can email us at ICBTB at Yahoo.com. ICBTB Podcast at, at Yahoo.com. Yahoo.com. Join, uh, go to our website, buy from our merch store yeah. on ICBTB.com or... It can't be that bad.com. We own both. Uh, we also would like to make a special shout out to the people of Indonesia. Sure. Or Burma. Cyprus is actually where they filmed it. Shout hey. out to the people of Cyprus. People of Cyprus. Uh, I did like the old Burmese late. Before we sign out, one more thing. What was up with the weird subtitles for the Burmese language? Loved it. It. It was like a karaoke sing along. Yeah, it like went as they talked, every letter, and then <laughs> words that required an emphasis were colored: Blue, yellow, red, crazy comic book. It was comic book. Oh my gosh, dude! The comic book transitions blows my mind. This is a better comic book movie than Wonder Woman eighty four. Hey, hey, I think I'd, wa- I'd, pref- I'd prefer to watch a jujitsu over Wonder Woman eighty four. A hundred percent agreed. Um, we'll probably be doing that in the future, though. We've done it. I've already seen it twice. As we should, and I've seen half of it. But until Which next half? time, 
Um, Should I cover half the screen? When I said half of it, I mean like uh, sound off, TV on. Mm, I do the other way. Sometimes I watch movies without the TV, just the sound, and I'm like, man, I bet this looks cool. You like podcasts that much that you're just like, you're down for the audio. I don't even need, I could be blind. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I could never. I don't, I think I need my eyesight for every, everything that I need. I hear if you don't have eyesight, you don't have sight. You out of sight? Can't touch it.